And I find it very interesting that flat earthers have got a really low standard for the types of evidence they want to believe, but an impossibly high standard for evidence which they don't want to believe. They hate flat earth because we know that stuff is not possible. But it doesn't matter what you know. All that matters is what you can prove. Go nuts on my nuts. The idea that Earth is a sphere was all but settled by ancient Greek philosophers such as Aristotle, who obtained empirical evidence after travelling to Egypt and seeing new constellations of stars. Eratosthenes, in the 3rd century BC, became the first person to calculate the circumference of the Earth. Islamic scholars made further advanced measurements from about the 9th century AD onwards, while European navigators circled the Earth in the 16th century, and images from space were the final proof, if any were needed. And yet we still have these flat Earth morons claiming otherwise. I'm sorry. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now today, by way of a change, and I know I always say that, but I found this concept very interesting. We have a Flat Earth channel, which for some reason is called Flat Earth Banjo USA Japan and Brazil, who have a video trying to get to the bottom of why Flat Earth bothers us globetards as much as it does. And whilst at first glance his channel name seems to make absolutely no sense at all, I can only guess that the banjo reference is there to set people's expectations as far as the intelligence level of the person that uploads the videos to this channel and the people that watch them. Tidy! First reason they hate Flat Earth is because Flat Earthers do not spend time, precious time af after sports events or concerts or the music business. Because we know form this form of entertainment is just there to distract us while they destroy flat earth, they destroy everything, they deceive people. So all these people who are paying attention in sports events or musical concerts, all that stuff, they're just being led astray, you know, they're just being deceived, being entertained while they really destroy and take over with their new world order. Ah, well that's rather disappointing because I had high hopes for this guy. I really thought he was gonna give us some insight into the mind of a flat earther but obviously flat earthers don't do entertainment they don't do sports they don't do anything that would distract them from their research watching videos on youtube following along with flat earth banjo's logic wouldn't that mean that he is suggesting that the rapper slash entertainer bob who in 2017 set up a gofundme campaign to send satellites into space to prove that the earth is flat is a fake flat earther because after all flat earthers don't waste their time on trivial things like being entertained enjoying sports or anything that would distract them another reason flat earth bothers them so much is because flat earthers are not gonna swallow everything those so-called scientists pseudoscience are saying about earth and the creation okay we, we don't believe that stuff uh we've been there but now our eyes have been opened and we no longer believe those claims they are false claims you do know that the definition of pseudoscience is a set of beliefs or practices mistakenly believed to be based on the scientific method don't you because the people you refer to as pseudoscientists are some of the greatest minds of our times and everything they say can in fact be backed up with evidence and more importantly repeatable observations and experiments and i find it very interesting that flat earthers have got a really low standard for the types of evidence they want to believe but an impossibly high standard for evidence which they don't want to believe. And while we're on the subject of incredibly high standards, 
please allow me to hand you over to Creaky, who still has a beard, to tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ridge.com forward slash creaky tidy. Now the ridge, in case you didn't know, is the minimal wallet designed to help you ditch that bulky wallet that your nan probably bought you for your 18th birthday to make you feel like a real grown-up. The ridge is light, sleek, doesn't fold, or create an awkward bulge in your back pocket or your front pocket. Although some of us would like a bulge in our front. Don't be childish, you know I meant because we have so much money in our pocket. <laughs> There's over 30 colours and styles including carbon fibre and burnt titanium. I absolutely love mine and I honestly use it every day. Don't take my word for it though, just take a look at the reviews. Ridge is so confident that you like it, they let you try it for 45 days and if you don't, you just send it back for free. And with Christmas being just around the corner, what better time to head over to ridge.com forward slash creaky and check out the holiday buying guide and use code creaky for 10% off at the checkout. Now if that isn't tidy, then I don't know what is. Reason number three, uh, we know space is fake. Uh, the curvature that NASA shows on TV, it's all made with fisheye lens. And uh, the green screen is the secret, you know, the ISS is fake. They, they do everything on a green screen, so they hate Flat Earth because we know that stuff is not possible. <sighs> they know space is fake. They know that NASA know that they know that it's all fake and done with green screen. And I'm really disappointed he didn't mention CGI. It would have been the perfect opportunity to use my CGI clip, which I may do anyway, just because I want to. C-G-I. But it doesn't matter what you know. All that matters is what you can prove. And by prove, I mean show us. Like we can show people that we live on a sphere. Can you show people that we live on a flat earth? No, you can't. Because we don't. You morons. Another reason is because flat earthers will not believe in the so-called official religions out there. All those religions, they are working together for the one world order. So there is no difference among them. They all, they are all together in this deceit of deceiving the people to bring upon us a new world order. But aren't Flat Earthers overwhelmingly Christian and other variations of religion? So I'm having a hard time with understanding why a Flat Earther would claim that the world's religions were against them as well. Because the majority of them are religious. Unless, of course, they consider Flat Earth itself to be the religion. Because Flat Earthers do seem to operate from a system of veneration and devotion towards a specific object, that object being the Flat Earth, making them a cult, because that is in fact the definition of a cult, but surely not, because there's no way that the Flat Earth is a cult, obviously. <laughs> Another reason they hate Flat Earth is because we Flat Earthers know that we did not come from monkey. Evolution is a lie and we know that we were created. There's a creator and everything was made with a purpose. They hate Flat Earth because Flat Earth exposed the lie of evolution. So they hate Flat Earth. <laughs> I'm getting lost and I don't mind admitting it. So his last point was that they hate Flat Earth because Flat Earthers do not subscribe to any particular religion, any of the mainstream religions, leading me to my assumption that Flat Earth belief itself must be the cult. I mean the religion. My apologies. And in this point, they are now saying that they hate Flat Earthers because Flat Earthers don't believe in evolution. They believe that we came from a creator, meaning God. So... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Another reason is because Flat Earthers will not spend time watching TV like Star Trek, Star Wars, Cosmos, Ancient Aliens. But multiple hours of YouTube videos and of course five hour live streams, absolutely fine. You know, we, our eyes have been opened. We are not going to be spending time, wasting our time on TV shows that's made to deceive people. No, we are reading books. We are conducting experiments out there. Uh, we have been awakened. We will not go back to sleep anymore. Once we have taken 
the red pill, no way we will be taking the blue pill again. So it's another reason they hate flat earth, because flat earth is the red pill, the globe earth is the blue pill. Do you want to tell him that the matrix is fantasy, make-believe, or shall I? And one of the most, uh, I, I believe, is the most important part of Flat Earth and they hate about Flat Earth is the fact that we don't believe in their science anymore. Many have come to know the truth of the creation after they realized the Earth is flat. Thousands and thousands of them have opened the Bibles and now start to understand how the creation works. Well, I never thought I would see myself thanking a flat earther, but that's exactly what I want to do, flat earth banjo. Because there have been so many contradictions in your video, there will be no doubt to anybody who happens across this video that you are, in fact, like all other flat earthers, a complete moron. Because you can't say that they, and by they you mean people like me, people who aren't stupid enough to believe that the earth is flat. You can't claim that they hate flat earth because flat earth doesn't subscribe to any particular mainstream religion and then claim that they also hate flat earth because flat earthers don't believe in evolution and they've discovered that the earth is flat from the Bible, which and I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the Bible isn't the most reliable scientific textbook available to us in this modern age. But I'll let you finish your point before I completely destroy you. The sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. There's a dome above us and Antarctica is the boundary and we cannot go beyond that. But that's a verse from the Bible, you silly banana. You can't claim that you don't subscribe to any religion and then quote from the Bible. Contradict yourself much? Now he spends the next couple of minutes of his video making fun of this lady called Laurie Lightfoot. And I'm not about that. I would never make fun of anybody. What? Flat Earthers? <laughs> They're fair game. They don't count. Flat Earthers don't matter. Remember? Merch available now. But Laurie Lightfoot plays a blinder with this next clip. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Science is back, baby. And the Earth is round, not flat. Thanks very much to The Ridge for sponsoring another video. <laughs> Don't forget to head over, use code CREAKY on checkout to receive 10% discount. I'm The Creaky Blinder, thanks very much indeed for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye bye. Alright, alright, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of The Creaky Blinder.